Hello. Uh, today we are going to do uh, a lesson on commas and why they are important. If you look at your lesson plan carefully for today, you would see that there is a link to print out some notes that would make it a lot easier for you to take your notes throughout this PowerPoint. So if you want to pause the recording and go print those out first, it would probably be a good idea. So <clears throat> why are commas important? If you look at this example, you can see that we're either going to eat grandma or you're going to ask grandma to uh, have a meal. So our target or our objective for today is to help you learn how to use commas accurately in your writing. So when you misplace commas, you can change the entire meaning of the sentence, just like with eating grandma. This one, we have a panda. So the panda eats, shoots, and then leaves. Instead of the panda eats, sorry, instead of the panda eats, shoots, and leaves, um, meaning that it eats the bamboo shoots and it, it eats the bamboo leaves. So there are six basic common rules. Rule number one is set off introductory phrases. What, there are certain signal words that you can key into that would tell you that there is an introductory phrase and that you would need a comma. Examples. After Karen warmed up, she ran five miles. After is your key word right there. The complete sentence is she ran five miles. When the rain stopped, Carolyn played in the puddles. Keyword, when, that tells you you need, or you are using an introductory phrase. To gather more volunteers, Mitch offered free food. Some of the signal words, while, although, and I'm not gonna read all of these out loud to you, but all of those words are very commonly used when you are starting a sentence with an introductory phrase. Words ending in ing also can signal an introductory phrase. Going to the market, here's your complete sentence, I ran into Annette. Oops. Sitting by the beach, I met my future husband. The word to often signals an introductory phrase. <clears throat> to get to the mall, you need to take Tatum, meaning Tatum Street. To find the LSC, you need to go to e-building. So you practice. Where does the comma go? If you said after mall, then you would be correct. If we go to the mall is your introductory phrase. We will be late for the movie is a complete sentence by itself. One other thing that is a clue is if when you say this out loud, you will often automatically pause where there should be a comma. If we go to the mall, we will be late for the movie. Try saying that one out loud to see if you can find where to put the comma. Okay. 
it goes after even. To make the teams even, she placed four people in each. The comma this time goes after river. Sitting by the river, I saw two eagles perched in a tree. All right, comma rule number two is between two complete sentences or thoughts. <clears throat> We've talked about fanboys before. Fanboys are those signal words that tell you two complete thoughts. We talked about those when we did our lesson on fragment sentences, run-on sentences, or complete sentences. So FANBOYS uh, is an acronym to remind you of the words for, and, nor, but, or, yet, or so. If you use one of the FANBOYS, you should use a comma. Mary liked her new dress, comma, but she didn't notice it had a stain on the collar. There's a first complete sentence. Mary liked her new dress, comma, comes before the fanboy. And then the second complete sentence. If you forgot to put in a fanboy, you would have a run on sentence. Mary liked her new dress. She didn't notice that it had a stain on the collar. Run on sentence, two complete thoughts. The comma goes before the fanboy. Why don't we need a comma in this one? Mary liked her new dress, but she didn't notice that it had a stain on the collar. Mary bought a new dress, but she didn't, but didn't notice the stain on the collar. I automatically put it in there. The word she is missing. We don't need a comma this time because didn't notice the stain on the collar is not a complete thought. It does not have the noun or subject she. So not, not two complete thoughts, so you did not need the comma. And is one of the fanboys. So you put the comma before and. Christmas is tomorrow and I hope to get a new iPod. I automatically pause when I say it out, out loud. Comma goes in between exciting and but. Fanboy is nor. I have two complete thoughts. So in between problems and nor, there should be a comma. Comma rule number three is to set off an interrupting phrase. The difference between an introductory phrase at the beginning of the sentence and interrupting phrase comes in the middle of the sentence. Here's the interrupter. Commas this time are before 
and after the interruption. If you can take this out totally and it still makes sense, then you're good to go. Sometimes it is necessary to write a sentence in which the main information is interrupted by extra information. So you have the first part of the sentence, comma, interrupter, comma, and the last part of the sentence. My car, a Toyota Corolla. This is just additional information. I could say my car is brand new, but I wanted to tell everybody that it's a Toyota Corolla. comma before the interrupter, comma at the end of the interrupter. A great athlete is the interrupter. So comma before and comma after. Michael Jordan a, com a great athlete played basketball for the Chicago Bulls. My essay, to be completely honest, flew out the car window on the way to class today. To be completely honest is the interrupter. So where did the commas go? After essay and after honest. Common rule number four is when you have quotation marks or in a story when someone is, is speaking. So Professor Jones said, comma, quote. It's important to remember to include quotation marks around the quoted material as well as necessary commas, period. That was the end of the professor's sentence and then the quotation marks at the end. The professor said this entire thing. Here's dialogue. So notice where the commas go. This one started with the quote, so it's a comma, quotation marks, and then said Neo. This one, the person's name, Karen said, comma, then quotes, let's go, comma, Rob. This time the period goes inside the quotation mark. So where are you going to put the quotation marks and where are you going to put the comma? This one's a tough one. Quotation mark, because this is what he's saying. So quotation mark, hey mom, comma, quote, my son said as he came through the door, comma, quote, I got an A on my test on commas, quote again. My dad said, comma, quote, this actually should be a capital W, Watch out for the crazy drivers today, period, quotation mark. Common rule number five is when you uh, have several different things in a series. 
here's the key. You have to have three or more words in the series to use a comma. If you only have two, you do not need a comma between them because you're going to use the word and. Look for the commas. Tessa, Zach, and Kathleen campaign for Representative Osborne. Here's a little confusion. This one, before and, you will see sometimes people do not put that one in there. But is and a fanboy? So it actually can and should have a comma. One, two, three things in this series. Comma after red, comma after white. Comma after scout comma after sugar. What about this one? No commas because I only have two. Comma rule number six is when you need to separate descriptive words. And again, two or more so the rule of thumb is if you can reverse the order of the descriptive words and it still makes sense, then you should put in a comma. So let's look at some examples. Mrs. Larson's students stood on top of each other to make a tall khaki colored tower. Can we reverse the order and it still makes sense? Mrs. Larson's students stood on top of each other to make a khaki colored tall tower. It doesn't make as much sense that way, but it, you could say that. What about this one? The bottom student's face turned a dark purple color. Why isn't there a comma in here? Can we reverse the order and have it still make sense? The bottom student's face turned a purple dark color. It doesn't really make sense that way. So you do not need a comma in there. Where's the descriptive words? Young and talented. Can you reverse the order that those come in and have it make sense? The talented young actor or the young talented actor? Yeah, I can. So I need a comma in there. Descriptive words, test it out. The quick, agile athlete or the agile, quick athlete. Mm, sort of, kind of, you could put one in there. Descriptive words. Can I say the outgoing incredibly man? No. I can't reverse it, so no comma. Okay, so that is your lesson 
on commas, please go to the lesson plan um, in your module to, uh, you're not going to do a worksheet. You're going to go and practice on IXL. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions at all, please, please contact me.